What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to another gun guide. This is the series where I go into great detail with all of the stats, as well as some excellent attachment combinations for every gun in Modern Warfare 2. And in today's episode, we're going to be moving on to the brand new Marksman rifle that just came with Season 2 Reloaded. This is the Tempest Torrent. And starting it off as always, let's have a look at our damage profile, and it turns out this gun deals quite a bit of damage per shot. It's going to be a 2-3 to three shot kill depending on the range, as well as which part of the body you're shooting them in. And also, we do have a one-shot kill potential to the head in the first and second damage ranges, and we'll look at ranges in just a little bit. As for the rate of fire, the reason I'm re-uploading this video is I had the incorrect rate of fire. My spreadsheet just got a little bit messed up, but I have sorted that out. This is 314 rounds per minute, which is quite fast for a semi-auto marksman rifle in this game. And what this means for our time to kill is with a two-shot kill, we're killing in 191 milliseconds, which is a very fast and competitive time to kill. Whereas if you need that third shot, it's now going to take 382 milliseconds to kill, and that is quite a slow time to kill potential. But then taking a look at our bullet velocity, this is amazing and fairly standard for a marksman rifle at 680 meters per second, so bullet velocity should generally not be an issue for you in standard multiplayer. And now let's finally move into our ranges. And as we can see here, our maximum damage range where it's a guaranteed two shot kill anywhere in the body and a one shot kill to the head, this extends out to about 46 meters, which is excellent. That's gonna cover the vast majority of gunfights you should be finding yourself in within standard multiplayer. And then you can see as you continue to drop off in the ranges, you start to lose that two shot kill potential to various parts of the body until you get to about 65 meters. This is where it's now gonna be a three shot kill anywhere in the body and you need to mix a headshot in if you wanna maintain a two shot kill. And speaking of headshots, our maximum one shot kill potential to the head is gonna fall right around 55 meters, which is excellent. Now let's move on to our hip fire spread. And as we can see here, it's right in line with the EBR-14, the TACAM and the Lockwood Mark II. It doesn't have a very good hip fire spread. So unless you're right up close and personal, I'd recommend staying away from hip fire. As for idle sway, just like with many of the guns in the game, there is a lot of idle sway with this, but since it's a marksman rifle, by default, we can hold our breath to completely eliminate idle sway for a short period of time. After that, let's have a look at our recoil. And as we can see here, there is a big jump after the first shot fired. But then after that, everything's grouped really nice and tight together. So when we're looking at attachments on this, we really want to try to cut down on that first shot jump. But once you continue with sustained fire, this gun is very accurate. Next up, let's get into our handling stats. And our aim down sight time is right on average for marksman rifles at 310 milliseconds. Also, our sprint out time is fairly good for a marksman rifle at 210 milliseconds for our standard sprint out time and 310 milliseconds for our tactical sprint out time. And now let's get into our reload add time, which is 1.59 seconds, and that's pretty solid for a marksman rifle, so definitely an upside with that, especially considering the fact that we also get a 20 round magazine by default, which is better than all of the other marksman rifles in the game. Now finally, for the base stats of this gun before attachments, let's have a look at our mobility stats, and our base movement speed is a bit slower than average for marksman rifles at 4.44 meters per second. Our sprint speed is right on average for marksman rifles, and our aim walking movement speed is unfortunately a little bit on the slow side for marksman rifles as well. So there we go, that wraps it up for the base stats of this gun, but now let's start looking into some of the unique attachments, and the first thing I want to cover are barrels and their ranges. And as you can see here, the first barrel gives us a 12% increase to our ranges. Second barrel gives us a 12% decrease to our ranges. The third barrel, that 24 inch barrel, gives us a 20% boost to our ranges, which is excellent. And then finally, the 12 and a half inch rugged barrel, this one will reduce our ranges by 18%. And diving a bit deeper into these barrels, I wanted to show you guys how these effects recoil. And as we can see, both the 14 inch and the 24 inch barrels definitely help with recoil, especially with that first shot jump, which like I said, is very important with this gun. Whereas the other two barrels seem to have a negligible impact on our recoil. And then finally for our barrel attachments, let's have a look at how they impact our aim down sight speed. And as we can see here, obviously the barrels that improve our ranges and recoil, they're also gonna be harming our aim down sight speed. Whereas the other two will be helping our aim down sight speed just a little bit. And then finally for attachment stats, I wanted to have a look at the magazines as well as the guard attachments and how they impact our aim down sight speed. And with the 30 round magazine, our aim down sight time is 340 milliseconds, whereas the 50 round drum will be really significantly increasing this up to 400 milliseconds. Whereas for the guards, the torrent tack guard only seems to help our aim down sight speed by around five milliseconds. So that's hardly worth using for aim down sight speed at least. Whereas the guard that harms our aim down sight speed, this one will slow it all the way down to about 390 milliseconds, which is quite slow. And then finally, the third guard doesn't have any impact on our aim down sight speed. 
And with that, that finally wraps it up for the important stats. Now let's get into some excellent attachment combinations. And the first one I wanted to share with you guys is my all around sort of a build. This is for moving around the map reasonably aggressively without really sacrificing in too many areas. We've got a nice balanced build here. And with this, we're using the second tread 40 muzzle, the 16 inch tour barrel, the OLEV laser, the slimline pro optic and the X10 rear grip. With all of this combined, our aim down sight speed is just a little bit slower than the base at 320 milliseconds. This is still very reasonable for a gun like this. Our sprint out time is actually improved a little bit at 179 milliseconds. And very importantly, our recoil is noticeably improved compared to the base recoil, especially when you look at that first shot jump. It's noticeably lower now with the new recoil. And this actually allows us to stretch our ranges out just fine. We can pick people off across the map, no problem with this gun. But it also still has reasonable enough handling that you can get around the map fairly aggressively and still be successful. So that's why I really like this particular build. It's just a good all around sort of a balanced build. But now I also wanted to share an accuracy build with you guys. This one's more so for really hanging back, picking people off at longer ranges and treating this like a true DMR. So with this one, we're once again using the Sack and Tread 40 muzzle. That just appears to be the best single attachment that you can use on this gun for controlling that recoil, especially with the first shot jump. We also have the 24 inch outreach barrel, which also helps with recoil while also significantly improving our ranges and bullet velocity, which is excellent. We have the Schlager Peck Box 4, so we don't have a visible laser beam while aiming down sight, so we can hard scope a little with this. I put the VLK4 optic on there just because I really like this optic. Of course, you can swap that out with whatever you decide. And then finally, we once again have the X10 rear grip. Now with this one, our aim down sight speed is gonna be very noticeably slower than the base at 410 milliseconds. So like I said, this is designed for hanging back, picking people off. You don't wanna be rushing around like a madman with this. Our sprint out time is nicely improved though, not that it really matters too much with a setup like this. But most importantly here, our recoil is very significantly improved. There is only a tiny jump now after that first shot fired, and then the grouping after that is extremely tight. And as a result, this just makes for a nice, accurate, hanging back sort of a build. I definitely recommend picking off headshots whenever possible with this. Almost treat it like a sniper rifle that also has a semi-auto capability if you manage to whiff that first shot. And with that, that's finally gonna wrap it up for today's gun guide on the Tempest Torrent Marksman Rifle. As for my thoughts on this gun, now that I've got the rate of fire stats corrected here, sorry for that little mistake and the fact that I had to re-upload this. I really like this gun. I knew it felt great from the beginning. I was very confused as to why I liked it so much compared to the TAC M when I thought it had similar stats, but that was just due to that rate of fire error. This is an incredible marksman rifle and I'd highly recommend checking it out if you guys haven't already. But of course, that is just my opinion and I'd love to hear what you guys think about this gun in the comments down below. And also, if you guys have missed any of the previous episodes of Gun Guides, I will leave a link to the playlist in the description of the video. If you enjoyed this one, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.